Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a highly requested video, and that's all about my hair. I'm going to be talking about everything I do to my hair in terms of hair care and styling. In the morning, I usually wake up with crazy hair. So, before I hop in the shower, I usually brush out all the tangles in my hair using a hairbrush so that it's nice and tangle free. Moving on to shampoo, I usually use shampoos that are more geared towards um, hair loss and scalp. If you guys have been following me on YouTube, you guys know I deal with a lot of hair loss when I'm stressed out. So the shampoo that I use is called TS Shampoo. Usually when you wash your hair with really good shampoo, it's kind of stiff, but that's only during the hair wash process. But after you come out of the shower, it's completely fine. So I start with the shampoo and I massage it into my head. I use this thing, I don't know what it's called. It's like a scalp scrubber thing. I don't know what it's called. I'll have everything linked below. If you don't have a clean scalp, you might experience like bad odor from your head. You might get really oily, itchy. And if your scalp isn't clean, that clogs up your pores. That creates like hair loss and we don't want any of that. So this is a really cool scrubber to help get every part of your scalp clean. This also helps with hair growth because it also circulates the blood in your scalp. So once I get my whole head with the shampoo, I leave everything on there and then I move on to the hair treatment. The hair treatment that I am using right now is called L'Oreal L7. This is really good. But basically, I don't use conditioner anymore. I just go straight into the hair mask. It's been a really long time since I used hair conditioners, but I've seen a world of a difference in my hair. I apply to the ends of my hair from the ear down. I run my fingers through my hair just to make sure everything is tangle free. And I leave everything on my hair for about like three to five minutes. I just go ahead and rinse off everything. Once I get out of the shower, I usually squeeze off all the water and then put my hair up in a towel. Once I remove the towel, I like to go in with a hair oil and this one is from Moroccan oil. And for someone like me who have very thin hair, Moroccan oil might be a little bit thick. Even though it is thick, before I blow dry my hair, there's like an extra moisture that helps block the heat damage. I like to use the smallest bit of Moroccan oil, maybe less than half a pump, and then I distribute it all over the ends of my hair. I take a wide comb like this, and then I brush through the hair, and then go in with the hair drying process. I used to dry my hair like just crazy like everywhere. There is a way to dry your hair to prevent damage. So this is the dryer that I use, Unix. I used to have a different one, but that one, it just took so long to dry your hair and I think it's better to invest in a hair dryer that has the power to dry your hair fast enough so it just cuts out the time that you're putting heat onto your hair. So first I make sure that my scalp is completely dry. When it's damp, I like to just first dry my hair in downwards motion. Just doing that alone, it creates very silky smooth hair. My hair is about like 80% dry. I do this like outwards motion with my hand and then, and then I blow dry like this. You just leave it alone in that state and then you can do the other side. I just roll my bangs on there and then I 
I just kind of go through it really quickly with hot air and then without leaving the hair curler on for too long or else you're gonna get this like huge like curl in your bang which I don't like I leave it on for about 30 seconds if it's too big I just tap it like this um, because I don't want it too curled in I like it more natural like this after I blow dry I like to go in with another oil this one is from dry bar and it's the 100 proof treatment oil and I love this stuff because it's so light and it's perfect for people who have very thin hair it doesn't weigh your hair down at all and it gives your hair the best shine there's a huge difference when I use this oil and I don't I love natural loose waves so I go in with a bigger barrel I first section my hair into two parts I go in with the first piece and then I curl the end I leave it on for like two seconds and it has like the C curl shape and then without letting go I go in with a hair curler again and then I just create a curl on the top part of my hair That's how I create a very natural hair curl. I just do that throughout my whole head and it takes me about like five minutes to do. So once you're done curling your whole head, you might notice that it's a little flat on the top part here. So I just take small pieces like this and then curl it. Just do that on a few pieces on the side of your hair and it just creates a little bit more dimension. You know, if you feel like you need a little bit more oil after you curl your hair, just go in with the dry bar oil. I use this like texturizing spray from Living Proof and this is called the Full Dry Volume Blast. It creates the best texture and volume into your hair. It just gives your hair something to grip on so it's not so flat. I like to take the top part of my hair and spray some there. And it creates the most beautiful volume. So here it is, super simple, right? And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you are interested in any of the products, I'll have them all linked below so you guys can check them out. And once again, thank you so much for watching my videos and I will see you guys soon. Bye!